and nowadays a bank is going to call this mismanaged. I mean, then what? 80 plus, 80% plus full, but 75% is not really too bad, honestly. But the thing is, is that once you put it into the bill analyzer and start looking at the numbers, essentially you'll see like we're picking it up for $620,000. We're gonna, we could, if we borrow the money at 8%, we don't know what the terms of the loan are gonna be yet, but we just put this, this is a typical rate that we pay our, our private lenders. Cap rate is 8%, the, the income is 80 grand. There's 168 units at 2130 square feet at 25% vacancy. It comes out to an average rent per square foot of 42 cents, right? An average rent of 52.91 per square foot. If we go, that's current as is. We put down, uh, let's put this down because this is including the, um, adding the buildings. There's no clean out, there's no real, I mean, just a little bit of, you know, maybe painting or something like this. We could put like 5,000 in for repairs if we want to, you know? Like, and then we got property taxes, utilities. Why is the utility so high? Is there like some climate control? I don't think there's climate control, but maybe this kind of a shop. I'm not sure, so we have to figure this out. And then $1,200 in insurance, which is about right for a facility. That's actually kind of, that's kind of not really too bad for a facility that size. Potential means that you're going to take it from 25% full to 8% full. And then how much would you make? Essentially, you'd go from $80,000 to $98,000 without raising the, the price per square, square foot. The 8% vacancy, right? So now we know we can at least get $98,000, even if we did nothing but just try to get this thing full and did not raise the rates. Now, if we do raise the rate, right, we're gonna do um, 168 units, 2130 square feet, and we're gonna raise the rates to 55 cents at 8% vacancy. We're gonna get it full and raise the rates. And the, how I got the 55 cents percent vacancy is I just went and I just called all the competition. And then each, there's actually from the three facilities that's out there, we couldn't get a hold of registers at all. They just would never call us back. All Star Storage is charging forty-five dollars for ten by five by tens, and they only have twenty by tens and fifteen by twenties. Is what they have. They have a hundred, so ninety-five dollars for a ten by twenty, and a, which is you know, which is actually not a too bad, not too bad of a rate for that area, because I mean, when I started out in the business, a ten by twenty, we were charging like. $75, $80. We were on $80 a square foot. I mean, sorry, $80 a unit. Now, and that was in a, a secondary market. I mean, so $95 in a tertiary market is really not too bad. $15, $115 for a 15 by 20, right? He, and then on Monticello, we called them and it was $55 for a 5 by 10, $75 for a, um, a 10 by 15, right? And then they have 10 by 20s, 95 and uh, $95, right? So once you add all this, 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 and this up, not, uh, this one, you get, you come up with an average of, let's go back, right? 55 cents. That's kind of how you come up with the average. And actually we'll go into unit mix too as well. Let's see if that's done, yeah. Right, 106, so here's the unit mix, right? So there's 168 units at 25,000 square feet. It comes up to 11, if you keep it at the rates that they have it, it comes out to $11,000 uh, per month. If it was 100% full, $13,000 if we got it full. And then if we if we actually increase the rates to what it should be and got it full, we can make 13,665. Right, so that's kind of how we come up with the numbers. So that's why we, we put 55 cents in here. So because we really did the research, called around, looked at the competition, looked at the unit mixes to see what we could possibly be making. Right. And that's just so basically it's worth four hundred and seventy five thousand dollars. So that's the offer that, um, that Chris put in and the owner was like, no. We ain't giving you four. I'm not selling it for 475,000. He said, I'll sell it for 650 grand. And I said, I said, that's too high. I can't do that much. I said, what about 600? He said, 600. He said, what about 620? I said, fine. So we, we got it under contract for 620. 
The potential right now is around 698 if we just got it full and a hundred a million dollars if we actually get it full and um, get it to the right price as opposed to based on the one. 